Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day to be alive, even better day to work on car stuff. If you're reading the title of this video, you already know what's going on. We are literally doing an STI drivetrain swap on my 01 Forester, which if you don't already know, the car already has a fully forged big turbo STI motor in it. It's got a Garrett GTX dual bar bearing 3071 turbo in it. It's got fully built internals from Manly in it, fully built stainless heads in it. And from what we know from the e-tune and everything, it makes a good amount of power. From the cars I've raced, makes a good amount of power. I'm definitely happy with it. But making that kind of power also means that my five speed went bye-bye. Second gear, way too much boost for second gear in a stock NA Forester five speed. I got blast plates and red line shock proof oil in it to help. And I'm also always was really good at shifting it, never missed shifts or anything. I still didn't miss any shifts when this happened. It's just way too much boost of power for that trans. Trans finally went. We actually have a full drivetrain, like 2017 STI transmission. We even got all the wiring to do DCCD in this. Okay? If you don't know what DCCD is, that is the little knob in the STIs that you can click a button and twist and change your power bias to the rear. You can go 60, 40, 80, 20. I'm not sure how far you can go to the rear. It'd be cool if you can go 100, zero, or at least like 90, 10, but we do have that. So the car is gonna be all wired for that in a 2001 Forester, and I am so excited. But this is day one. I'm gonna be trying to post videos every single day of what I get done in that day, whether I get a lot done, whether I don't get a lot done. I'll try and have a video for you guys either way. So we're starting off now. We're in the Audi right now. We're headed to my grandpa's to borrow some jack stands because I do not have tall enough jack stands to get the car high enough off the ground to actually drop a trans safely. So we're gonna go borrow his nice tall jack stands. And then we also gotta run by O'Reilly's, pick up some of the parts that I had ordered in previously that just got there. And we have literally every single part that we need for this. We shouldn't have to go to auto parts stores too much unless we start breaking stuff or I'm missing tools or random other stuff, which I probably just jinx myself, honestly. If you've watched the videos, you know that I have the worst luck with this kind of stuff. And I, I, I it is all, I'm always running the parts store and I'm trying to work on stuff and it sucks. Anyways, going to pick up jack stands, going to pick up the rest of the parts that we need. And then we're going to get the forester up in the air and start tearing her apart. Oh, also forgot to mention, this whole video series also comes with a whole new wheel setup on the car. The car used to be stanced out negative 10 degrees of camber, hot boy stancing point wheels. Well, if you follow me, you know that those wheels are gone. The car is currently sitting on stock legacy wheels, B4 legacy wheels. I have the new wheels already with the tires mounted and everything sitting in the garage. I don't know which of these videos that I'm gonna show you the wheels on and when we're gonna put them on, but you will see that in this series, I promise, and we should hopefully have this all done within a week. I tried my best to have every single part that I would possibly need for this sitting in the garage beforehand. That way you guys are waiting, like I'm waiting for parts in between videos. So we should have a very consistent flow of videos and should have a very consistent flow of work to get this done. Ooh, that's a puddle. And should be good. All right, let's get to it. exhaust off in like five minutes and i just noticed this there's a spider web on my throttle body oh yo i was just trying to get the turbo bolts off i'm doing that right now i'm trying to is like living its last little bit of life right there it's struggling for a second oh my gosh never been off hold on i just want this is why my car is so loud just so everyone knows <laughs> this is this is why my car is so loud, okay? Your exhaust don't scrape on anything. You're not low enough. Yeah, exactly. Literally. Exactly. If you're not pulling in your house and it's not scraping, go lower. <laughs> Says the guy that I can't convince to lower his car more. I saw the scrapes going in the garage. That's facts. Yeah, that is true. Pulling in two inch driveways. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, my girlfriend's gone out and pushed me multiple times. She's a <laughs> fing <laughs>
brother! <laughs> we just drained the trans. Oh my gosh. Munched. 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 That's just what'll fit on the drain plug. What's inside the trans is my oh, question. Oh, sparkly, I want to see it, bro. Is it still draining though, bro? It still looks pretty blue. Yeah, it's not bad. I, this trans oil only got like a couple thousand miles on it before the trans went, but holy crap. <laughs> Take the shaft oh. out of the hole. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> pause. 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 Oh! Oh, I didn't. I don't think it leaked yep, anything. Nothing, nothing's coming out. Good. Mm. Dry shaft out. Now we just gotta pull a trans. Is that? Did you get the axes out of the dip yet? No. Nope. Hey Max, now you've oh. officially blown a tranny. How do you feel? Pause. <laughs> that is second gear. That's. It's one of the teeth from second gear. You're fishing for gold down there. I'm looking at my destroyed oh my exhaust. God, <laughs> oh! Yeah, I dropped the crescent in there and I got the fluid in my mouth. It tastes a lot worse than it smells, by the way. We got quite a bit done on day one. We have the drive line out, the exhaust out. We're working on getting the rear diff out. We gotta get the axles out. All the axles are like halfway out, but I gotta get the cotter pins out of the front. I needed a pry bar to get the ones out of the back of the diff. Day one was a huge success. Wait for day two. And I'm thinking I'm gonna get a new exhaust while all of this is torn apart, because that's pretty bad. Hey Matt, now you've officially blown a tranny. How do you feel? Pause. <laughs>